Well, hello. Good day, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Food Scientist Podcast. We expect you're going to listen to the whole episode. I am your host, Amy Zajek, and I'm recovering from a cold. So if you hear some sounds that I couldn't edit out, I apologize. I'm also here with uh, Brian Pierce. Hey, everyone. If Amy doesn't edit me out, I apologize. (laughs) And Danny Sussman. I am looking good and feeling even better. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Edit that out. Yeah. (laughs) We're playing two truths and a lie (laughs) here on the podcast. (laughs) It should be easy to figure out which is the lie. (laughs) Well, just a little bit of site business. Of course, uh, we're always going to promote our social media. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, we'd love and to hear Google from you. Plus. Oh well, that's. Oh wait, away. no, no, that went away, didn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. not quite yet, but they're disbanding that soon. <laughs> Our pictures have been looking excellent lately, by the way. Yeah, somebody bought me a nice photo box. Yeah, I, it's not even about that. I'm just saying they, yeah. they've been looking at. If you're into food porn. Get on our especially yeah. junk food yeah, they're, they're, yeah. I've noticed that too. There've been some very yeah. good pictures. So good job, so, Amy. Thanks. A food scientist podcast. You know how to search social yeah. media. We also have a call in line if you have any. Feedback, if you want to rant at us, give us suggestions, praise us, we're welcome to hear it all. 402-YUM-FOOD or 402-986-3663. We'd love to hear from you. Yum-FOOD. Okay, on with the program. Is the top of the program, we're going to have our food experiences, some food news. Then we're going to talk about local to Michigan Chocolatier Saunders, at least one of the candies we tried. We it's have, all about peanut butter, really. Yeah, we have a lot of peanut butter going on. We have some Reese's Ooh. peanut butter cups to talk about, and we'll round it out with some Cracker Jacks. So, yeah, some special Cracker Jacks. Yes. Right up at the top, I'll keep talking. I'm going to talk about my <laughs> food experience. Uh, went to a local, I'm not going to name it, you'll see why, Steakhouse. Oh, no. Oh, no. For a uh, team lunch at work, high-end, very, very good, mm-hmm. normally Well, it was still pretty good. So we had a big group there, and a number of us got uh, the steak salad. And you can have your steak. first of all, I see why this is going down the wrong path. You can have your steak. It's served warm on the salad, and it's like a full steak, just on a salad. She said that word like three times now. Steak. No. The other word Uh, that we usually don't mention on this podcast. If you go to a steakhouse and you get a salad. That's on you. Yeah. Any doneness you want, and yes, I know it's a little gauche, but I like my medium. Pink in the middle, not red. But Listen, I, will, I will eat it anywhere from medium we can, rare to well. As long you're as already putting it on a salad. As long as it's tender and, and warm in the center. I don't like a cold center. My steak salad comes, and it's rare. Oh. And this is a huge group, and we have a big table, and the other people that got salads are way across, and one lady next to me, I'm like, did you, is yours the right doneness? Because I don't want somebody to actually have medium that wanted mm-hmm. rare, yeah, maybe right? they just switched. Vice versa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't happening. I had to eat it the way it was. But it was it was warm in the middle, and it was very good. I will say this. The steak itself was incredible. And then you The rest of the salad was not. The salad. Well, yeah. Hello. They made, like, salad soup out of it. There was way too much dressing. Well, that's to teach mm. you a lesson. I'm a salad eater. This is normally not happened to me. Well, you could get steak and salad yeah, don't, as an appetizer. Don't most of their entrees come with this, the option no, of a salad? Not, not have, at lunch, really. They, no. they have appetizers inside. I, I had French onion soup for my appetizer. That was really good. But I really should have just got the ribeye steak. Hello. That's where mm-hmm. I'm going with this. Yeah. I was trying to be healthier. So our lesson is don't, don't eat get salad. steak salad. I just couldn't believe that my really? steak was so rare. But then, on the positive side, I couldn't were, believe it was warm and tasty. Yeah, but you just sang its praises. I said it was warm and tasty. Yeah. I don't like war. I don't like cold rare steak. A lot of steak right. that's rare is cool in the center. So the moral of the story is the steak was good, the salad wasn't, and Brian and I told you so. There was something else wrong with the food that I'm forgetting about now. See, we think she's making progress. Right. Here. You know, it's been like over a year. We, and... We'll be out and about. She'll be telling people how much she's learned by hanging out mm-hmm. with us. And then and then, then, like and then this happens. But guys, the but, salad at Evil Pie. She's still really using too. the word. What? Yes. Remember, the, I had such a great salad. I had pizza there too. Yes, but you didn't have a pizza I, salad. I blocked that memory out. But you had a salad. There was a place that had a I salad. I would actually recommend a salad at Eagle Pie. Sure. With pizza. In Vegas. Just, yeah. yeah. But you wouldn't have a pizza salad. I would have a salad pizza. No. Oh. I, I said that on purpose. I don't know that I would. Yeah. 
No. Ooh, I'm just, ugh. Like a pizza with ranch dressing instead of sauce. Oh, and dunking your crust in ranch oh, dressing is really good, Brian. They do that in California. They yeah, I have seen ranch. something yeah. like, oh. Mm, can California. we move on? Yeah, yeah we can move on because I, I can't remember the other thing that was wrong with my meal, and I know Thank there was God. more than one. Let's go on to Brian's. <laughs> if I remember, yeah, Brian, Brian apparently has well, a lot to talk about. I do. I know. Well, the holidays are over now, and like it's time to just decompartmentalize. But uh, speaking of being a little bit uncomfortable, uh, over the holidays, I'm visiting my family and my mom was making Grinch cookies, you know, based on the, the uh, not Doctor Who, Doctor Seuss. I want Doctor Who Grinch cookies now. <laughs> oh, that, Can you imagine that crossover? Um, but she's making Grinch cookies, and you're supposed to make these little round things, kind of like the um, the peanut butter blossoms with the Hershey Kiss in the middle, mm-hmm. except these are round, and they're just like plain dough, and you... Put a heart on them because the Grinch's heart grew three sizes. What kind of a heart. heart? A candy, candy heart. heart. Candy okay. Like a jelly heart sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, you know, my mom couldn't find those, so she just bought the, uh, what are they called? The like bells? Gumdrops? gumdrops. Yeah, the, yeah, like gumdrops, but the bell, like the big bell shaped ones. Mm-hmm. So she's making these and they come out of the oven and she puts them in. And these were really like doughy. And she's like, uh oh, we have nipple cookies. So, yeah, I have to hear all about my mom telling everyone about how she made me nipple cookies. <laughs> Brian really likes the nipple cookies. <laughs> they actually weren't that good. Were they green? Yeah, I no. can't imagine the gumdrop They were crunch thing. cookies. No. Were they green? Uh, they they had green food coloring in them, but they were just like plain dough. What color were the nipples? Red. Red. Okay, yeah. You saw pictures. I did. For anyone who follows my, my uh, Facebook, I posted pictures there. But, uh, yeah, they just didn't. They, they so... Dermatology. I had this like little growth thing that on my scalp a, a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Dude, the cookies look just like that. They probably tasted just like yeah, no. Too. Well, that, that thing. <laughs> that thing is. So what we've learned. It was runaway like growth of red blood cells. So it just looked bright oh. red. And so like if you like bumped it into something, it just like burst and blood. That sounds everywhere. really gross. The it was not painful. It was just bloody. The nipple cookies sound better than. I mean, they were edible. They were like, sweet. They, they weren't bad, but they they just red is, nipples and green dough. Yeah, just it. You know, so not this is a lot what your mom on. thinks you like. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's like Brian. Brian, come <laughs> get your nipple. Yeah, pretty much. She, did, did you do she suck was, on one? She said it pretended it's a pacifier, a nookums. <laughs> and did you <laughs> nookums? Yeah. And did you? No, not in front of my mom. Not in front of my Amy Later salad. at night. Right, no. but, but I, right, you didn't in front of your mom, but did you at all? No, because I, they, I didn't eat anymore. Yeah. They weren't good. I didn't turn good. down cookies, guys. Well, it, sort of. They I will good. say, they sound like they would be terrible. You know, yeah. They don't sound great. No, They, they were making bad. sugar cookies and stuff, too, so like, there yeah, were other if, things going on. If there were other cookies, yeah. you can just uh, disregard the yeah. nipples and go for the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, another thing I just wanted to share, though, is that, uh, you know, I was away from work for a couple of days, and I came back, and I had a nice little Christmas card from someone, from a coworker that said, uh, and I'm leaving names out to protect the innocent and the guilty here, but a nice little card that said, Merry Christmas, uh, I hope this is the year you finally settle down with Little Debbie or something like that. Enjoy mm-hmm. the snacks. Isn't Little Debbie a little young for you? Well, no, think about how long she's been around. Yeah. She must have had some work done because she yeah. still looks young. <laughs> Brian might be a little young for little Debbie. Yeah, I probably am. Uh, Maybe she's mama. too he's young for him. He's the baby him. of this group, Maybe after all. she's too young for him and he's too young for her. Whoa. A little cougar. Brian's so young, he had nipple cookies. Nookum cookies. Nookum cookies. <laughs> But he didn't like it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so uh, with this card was a box of key lime tea cookies. Not that different from the nipple cookie flavor, actually. You know, tea cookies are just very plain cookies, and the flavoring that was added was key lime. People who know this podcast know that at least Annie and I do not believe that citrus belongs in any sort of dessert. I can tolerate a good key lime pie. Mm-hmm. I can't tolerate lemon. Mm. But, the yeah. lemon meringue for you. Yeah. yeah, so my dilemma here was, okay, I have this nice card, and I have this little gift. Do I confront this person and be like, oh, ha, ha, you gave me nasty cookies that you know I don't like, if it was a sincere gift? I didn't want to be like, you know. I have a question. Yeah, I didn't want to be How does it feel to be the kind of person... Where you're like, 
I know people will give me nasty gifts just just because. I'm going to answer that by saying you reap what you sow. Okay. So I have it coming. <laughs> Right, because if you think about Mr. it, Mr. Bean Boozle, yeah. if you have to sit and think, is this somebody? Know, is this a real person? Give me, is this somebody? Are they messing me, with me? Right, and it's Christmas. Yeah, and you don't know. Yes, you should really look inwardly. So this is how I handled it. I, I felt like I did it brilliantly. I took a, a, a Snapchat of the cookies and I sent it to this person and said, "Thank you?" Question mark as if I don't know if you gave this to me or not. And uh, I got a response saying, I didn't give those to you. I gave you snack cakes. So someone else saw the this bag the filled the, with yeah. boxes of snack cakes, hid them in one of the drawers of my desk, and put those nasty cookies. So someone did prank you. They did. And I kind of suspected that because the brand was not a brand that any of us had heard of, I'm sure, and I saw we had a gift box from a vendor that had other snacks from that brand, like various things, but including that brand. So I'm like, mm, I think someone's messing with wow. me. So I got to the bottom of it, and I got snack cakes out of the deal. But speaking of holiday snack cakes, I do have a speaking grievance. Speaking of holiday, oh, it's grievance. Ooh. Yes, I, I told the both of you I just need to vent a grievance with the loved one, and little Debbie and I are fighting, so I don't think this is the year for us. And this is an ongoing problem that you may be aware of. To I mean, be Debbie honest. can be fickle. Yeah. Yeah, with the holiday things especially. But you know what? I didn't say this. It just I feel like she has like a seasonal affective disorder mm-hmm. because it's, it's like every season she's yeah, a whole new Debbie. It really is. Okay. Uh, so, and you know, we have to mention it's that time of year. Get out and get those clearance candies, folks. Oh, we we're gonna be burning. Oh, yeah, we're gonna talk about, talk about that here. Yeah. Uh, you can get. The Little Debbie seasonal snack cakes, I'm sure, and some places have them on clearance. But the Christmas tree ones, okay, I don't really like any of the the seasonal things better than the original, but you only get five in there. So you kind of get ripped off. There are only five snack cakes in the box of Christmas trees from Little Debbie. And I feel like there are other holidays where they do that junk, too. So it's like, come on, Deb, be better. Be better. Don't rip us off. So you were annoyed by... The quantity, not the quality. Do you have, yeah. Do you have any other grievances? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good for now, but I, I reserve the right to come back. Yeah, Danny <laughs> might have a food experience. <laughs> um, I should we? I, you know what? We're gonna skip right to my food news. Okay. Oh, okay. Give this food experience. It's fine, but whatever. I, well, I can have it again. Um, there's a snack cake based cereal Ooh. coming. You know, uh, is it based on Hostess? It is based on Hostess. I maybe heard about this. Yeah, they have uh, their like mini donuts. Mm-hmm, their donuts. The, fro- the frosted donuts. Post is coming out with a frosted donut cereal. Inter- interesting. No, they aren't the chocolate ones though. Yeah, so they're not the chocolate ones, which is a bummer, and they're not the ones that are secretly the best of them. Uh, now, would you be referring to the coconut crunch ones? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the crunch right. ones are... <laughs> we are, almost are, high-five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, at some level, those are those are the best of the donuts, and I they feel really like nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Um, Underrated for sure. So it, it led me to a question, which I'm sure we'll answer some point in the future. What do you think is going to be better, a bowl of the Hostess Donut cereal or a bowl of the Hostess Donut soaked in milk? I maybe know the answer to that one. Oh, have you already done that with the donuts? <laughs> well, uh, the donuts are not exactly spoon size, even though they're small donuts. Hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just put a spotlight on Brian. Here. I I have taken a few of the donuts and put them in milk. I haven't put them in a bowl and poured milk, but I have put them you in mean, a like big glass of milk. Them or no, just dropping them in there. Yep. Uh, and they get too mushy. It, it, it's not like the Oreos or the Nutter Butters that we tried. They got mushy, too, though. They did, but that's the right kind of mushy. Like, you know, it gets mushy enough. Um, this, it it doesn't enhance it. With, with the you donuts, donut especially, milk. you need to dunk, and you got no one to get out. You need yeah. no one to pull out, you know? Right. <laughs> because too much is it's just, not going to end well for anyone. No, it's just a mess. It's just a, a, a mess. It really, yeah. Uh, So you got to play that one carefully. So I feel like the cereal actually isn't going to be that great. I 
I don't disagree. I, I don't see it as But the dead. cereal might be better than donuts and actual milk then. Yeah, but, but cereal, maybe. But it but might cereal, be like Oreo O's where, where they're not, not. Yeah, cereal cannot take the place of a donut or donut or whatever. Right, yeah, it's just going to be your generic extruded circle. With sugar. With, with frosting. Yeah. It's not going to be... Just give me Apple Jacks or Fruit Loops. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, it'll be those, but with less fruit. Right. Uh, but I have news that is hot off the presses, so I, I can't confirm this. But they are saying, the person who posted this is saying it is legit. There's a new kind of Oreo coming out in 2019. Allegedly. Uh, where Oreo has done a partnership with Baskin Robbins. Mm. Now, if you were going to think of the 30 month well, flavors did the of Baskin Robbins. They Robins, did the Dairy Queen a number of years ago with the, the Oreo Blizzard Oreo. Mm-hmm. But what would you hope the flavor would be? Just thinking of any sort of uh, Baskin Robbins or ice cream flavor. I would. Blue Moon. It's the blueberry ice cream I'm trying to. Ooh, I would be interesting. I would hope. Um, well, my favorite ice cream there is pralines and cream, but I don't think that would make a good Oreo. Do you so, think that would stop them, though? <laughs> I mean, look no. at some of the, I they mean, is it going to just be fish. generic, like <laughs> vanilla or something? No. Oh, gosh. That would be... Is it their bubble be, gum? Superman? See, I, see, there are so many great things that we're coming up with here. All those would be, in my opinion, better. They're just doing mint chocolate chip. I how, almost said mint, but I'm like, didn't they already have yeah, a mint Oreo? Like, I don't know how that can be too much different from their regular mint for this to be a ice cream flavor. They're calling it mint chocolate chip ice cream, partnering with Baskin Robbins again. I feel like they could have partnered to come up with a better flavor. I agree, because mm-hmm. the the mint chip Oreo is not going to be any different from the mint Oreo. And the mint Oreo already exists in... Like regular Oreo, I think an Oreo thin. Um, in Europe, they have the mint Oreo candy bar, and mm-hmm. I think that's even made its way to the U.S. I want to say I saw that recently. So I don't think yeah. there was a a mint gap in the portfolio. Right? Yeah, I just I I don't maybe know what they're trying they were to really be safe. Thinking. Yeah, maybe this is just they're testing the waters with the new partnership with Baskin Robbins. Then they'll, they'll do more in the future. I don't know, but that it's not really exciting to me because it's not super unique. What it says to me is that Oreo's having a really hard time hanging on to their ice cream partnerships because last year was good humor. They had Dairy Queen in the past. If now they're hooking up with Baskin Robbins. Although they did hook up with Dunkin' Donuts, yeah, and Dunkin' yeah. Donuts and Baskin Robbins is the I same I mean, ownership. look at how we, there's a reason we branded the term Horio. Look at who they're always getting around with someone. That's I don't true. think they are loyal to one brand over another. I think they'll go wherever the money is. To be honest. Well, yeah, that business. Uh, I mean, for me, if I'm thinking Baskin Robbins or ice cream in general, I love a good chocolate peanut butter, but even that wouldn't be unique. No, for an Oreo flavor. So. Well, that's why I even hesitated on Blue Moon, because they've done berry flavor. Right, yeah. right. And they weren't very good. No, they no. weren't See very, good. very good. Very, very good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one other, This you might have to be quick on this one, because there's one more piece of food news I should mention. This is kind of old news at this point. Uh, there's a coffee shop, Dunn Brothers, which I think is they're, nationwide. It's not, I think they're mostly Minnesota. Just, what, are they just? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, if maybe you, Midwest. I think I've seen them in Michigan. Well, anyways. Yeah. yeah. But if you have a Dunn Brothers near you, I'm going to recommend checking out their holiday menu. They have, well, okay, they have a spiced eggnog, and they have a candy cane mocha. I didn't try those, but the one I did try is a uh, glazed cinnamon roll Nirvana mm-hmm. mocha. Which Amy Wait, even say that again. it's a glazed cinnamon roll Nirvana mocha. Now Nirvana is just their their word their term for their coffee. It's not an homage to the old '90s grunge band. No, it's not. No, no Kurt it, it does not taste like Teen Spirit. No, mm. um, or smell like it or anything. All apologies yeah, for this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna recommend that you check that one out because it did taste like a cinnamon roll. It was quite delightful. 
Amy, you would not choke on it. You might not like it, but you, it mm-hmm. would give you the reaction that you usually have. Well, I like cinnamon. doesn't like me. Don't <laughs> oh, like that's coffee. right. No, you might not like this one at all. And stay away from this one, Amy. Everyone yeah. else, go check it out. And if you're looking for a Dunn Brothers, mm-hmm. there's five in Iowa, 59 in Minnesota, two in Missouri, five in North Dakota, two in South Dakota, one in Tennessee, Two in Texas and four in Wisconsin. Well, there, and he didn't even look that up, folks. He just knows. No, that was. I just <laughs> sent knows. out like um, I have this telepathic ability, <laughs> and I can contact corporate headquarters of relatively niche coffee chains. It's like the bat signal uh, yeah. in your brain. You're mm-hmm. able just, I to flash just send that. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. Moving right along. Moving on up to no um to Michigan. And yes. So as we know, well, if you're a new listener, you don't know. Host Amy grew up in Michigan, so went back to Michigan over the holidays. And you're a Michigan food pusher. I am. You really like to push. I love my Michigan to brands. promote promote your local stuff. So I brought back one of the local chocolatiers, is Sanders, but you can buy them online. They're really. Do you have good. a connection to find out what state they have locations in? I have not looked. Mm-hmm. Danny, activate your psychic <laughs> network. Get the signal. Get the Sanders signal. Activate that okay. one. But I brought back one particular candy I thought for sure at least Brian would like because I know how much he loves peanut butter. It's a peanut butter thing. And I thought Danny would like too in general because, because it's I'll just good anything. candy. <laughs> but he's not the peanut butter fiend. Uh, Brian I'm such a fiend. I'm a he's freaky a fiend. fiend. He's a freak. It's just called peanut butter block. And it's chocolate with these bumpies that are the shape of... Um, <laughs> Okay, there's a, a more appetizing way to describe that. Well, I'm going to say that's the shape of the old Morley candy, which Sanders bought up, which non-Michiganders are not going to know either. <laughs> but uh, Logo, it's like a smushed Hershey Kiss shape. Yeah, it's like it's a raised oval. In With a, a peak. Like several raised ovals in a block of chocolate. There's no separation. It's very unique. The design is very unique. It, and those raised... Like Ovals are full of peanut butter. They, yes, these were very good. And even on the small bits that are between the raised ovals, there's peanut butter in between the chocolate. So if you like peanut butter, you're going to love mm-hmm. this. Plus, it's good made chocolate, I believe, with, uh, well, now I'm going to look, cane sugar. Well, it's like homemade as opposed to with, uh, yeah, sugar as opposed to corn syrup. So that always helps. Danny, how are your signals coming? They're There's about six down. or seven locations okay, all in, I feel like in Michigan. Seen, okay, they're only Michigan. Okay, but they do like have a wholesale business. And okay, yeah. So you can probably. I'm going to recommend Sanders- searching them out online. See if you can order because these are very good. And these aren't the only good candies they have. Obviously, I just knew peanut butter would be a hit. And the peanut butter for candy, peanut butter is really good. Really, really good. And they have cherry cordials that are actually good. Not like. Some others you can buy, but they have all kinds. So anyway, brought that back to share, and it hit our theme this week. Unless you guys have more to talk about with Sanders. Um, interestingly, um, Sanders does partner with other stores, and they claim CVS and Kroger and Paninos. I don't know if that's nationwide or uh, so. Like you can buy their them. products there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen them somewhere. That's not Michigan. So, yeah, because yeah. Brian hangs out in Michigan all the time, <laughs> except you he know, doesn't. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. on a Tuesday. I'm going to go to Michigan. Yeah, yeah I do that. No. Well, yeah. you go to Wisconsin. <laughs> May as well just keep driving through. <laughs> so they do have other retail partners around. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, Visit their website. Folks. They're very yep. good. Yeah, good job, Sanders. I was going to say, so we have two different themes this week. It's almost like a Venn diagram, right? Because we have um, things that are chocolate and peanut butter. And we have things that we got on sale right after yeah, Christmas. Yeah, it's like holiday yeah, and Right, and so, both. well, right, this next one hits both, right? So so we did the chocolate and peanut butter first half. Now we're going to do the one mm-hmm. that's the after Christmas special and chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, because this, the product really isn't holiday. No. The packaging is holiday. No, and it was actually, like, packaging, that's probably really good for us and us alone. It's the Reese's Lovers Collection. It says best Gift ever. ever. With four <laughs> kinds of peanut butter cups. The traditional, the white chocolate, the dark chocolate, and the Reese's Pieces. Now, interestingly, uh, there's four types of Reese's Pieces, but you get five packs in the box. Four types of peanut butter cups. Sorry, yeah, peanut butter <laughs> cups. I keep saying pieces. Maybe because I like pieces more than peanut butter cups. 
So Brian just stopped and looked. I feel like I knew that, but you know, yeah. to keep I, our Reese's, friendship, it's still shocking. I, yeah, Reese's Pieces are the most underrated candy. Anyways, although now they're in everything, mm-hmm. and they need to get out of everything. They, need, yeah. they, they have yet to make anything better, um, but they're good on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there they are, just they're, they're like I a rash. I find it interesting that you get five packages of and Reese's. And these are the normal packages, the two normal peanut mm-hmm. butter cups. Right, yep, yep. So you get five packages, two of the regular, then one of the rest. Why not just put four in there and maybe charge a little less? Right. Well, the mm-hmm. pricing of this was originally five dollars, which would be a bargain. Yeah, that's a dollar yeah, for, for five candy bars. And uh, mm-hmm. because I got, this I want to say a bargain, but it's it's you know, it's a deal. It's not yeah. like a big markup for yeah. holiday packaging, right? No, yeah. but it's actually cheaper than buying five bars individually at like a convenience store. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not a price markup. Uh, and then. I got them 50% off after Christmas. So it was $2.50. That's a deal right there. Mm -hmm. If 12 and a half cents a cup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you like all of the flavors, and I like them because it was like. Yeah, they're all good. It was a food scientist episode in a box (laughs) where (laughs) I was like, oh, this is perfect. We can compare all of. Mm -hmm. We did. We did. We did big cups a while ago. Yeah. We did all of them. We haven't done regular. Yeah, we did all the varieties of the big cups, which was eye opening to me. Um, yep. So, what did we think? Okay, I I feel like we don't really need to talk about regular Reese's today because we've done that, and I think that people know what a regular Reese's tastes like. And if you don't, you're not and, listening you know, to this then, part. No. <laughs> if you need a refresher, is that really peanut butter? Because it tastes like sugar. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's not peanut butter, but I love it. Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> so I don't care. I, I will gladly call it peanut butter, even though it is not. So this became like an exercise in offsetting that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So which one? Uh, you know, let's just talk about, you mentioned the Reese's Pieces stuffed Reese's yeah. mm-hmm. peanut butter cups. With these, I don't know. It doesn't really do a lot for me. It's unnecessary, yeah. but it doesn't take away from the enjoyment. Yeah. I was going to say, it's fine. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's fine. To yeah. me, I find the filling just... A little bit too sweet in yeah. regular peanut butter cups, and these pushed it sweeter. Yeah, these are mm. a lot. These are sweeter for sure. But yeah, these definitely taste the most like candy. Whereas like or sugar. If we go back to the stuff from Michigan, that was chocolate and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. This tasted like candy, not like chocolate and peanut butter. For me, the only thing that it does is it gives you a little bit more texture. It gives you that little mm-hmm. crunch from the shells. The candy Which shells. I think, if I remember right, we really liked the uh, chunky big cups for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't. It didn't really do a lot either way for me. So it's kind of unnecessary for me because it's not changing the game that much. Right. You know what? The dark chocolate. The dark chocolate. The dark chocolate should be so much better. In I've, my opinion, I have had off-brand, so not Reese's mm-hmm. dark chocolate peanut butter cups that were really good. I have too. Oh, and actually, the Reese's minis and dark chocolate are really good. That maybe is what I was thinking of because I was really excited to have these again because in my mind yeah. they were really good. These I didn't really love. These are not as good as the minis. The dark chocolate is not flavorful enough. No, for me, I will say that the dark chocolate lets the gives the chocolate a fight. Against the peanut butter. Like, you definitely taste chocolate. Well, that's what I liked. Well, you can't say. The minis. Because the peanut butter is so sweet, and the dark chocolate took the edge off. But um, the minis were better than this. This is almost bitter. Yeah. For me, there's a fight, and the chocolate loses. Well, if it's the chocolate, you can taste it. It's just not good chocolate. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. It's more distinctly chocolate, but it's a distinctly Mm -hmm. mediocre dark chocolate. Yeah. It's almost like chocolate that you would use for, like, baking purposes. Like, it's just not... Well, it's more like flavor. bittersweet versus just dark. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, the white chocolate. This is one of the few times where I can really appreciate white chocolate. I, I did, too. That was the biggest surprise to me. Have you never had these before? I never had the white chocolate. Whoa! Before. This is a big day. <laughs> it was. I was like... Yeah. Wow. Like... I've had them before under duress, and I was like, wait a minute. I like these. What's going on with that? Yeah, you know, I've actually been thinking that we should... Do an episode of the white chocolate versions of all of like your favorite candies because you get M and M's and I think even like 
Twix has a white chocolate Kit one. Kit Kat. And, Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. And just do all of them. But I mean, then I just seem, it just, I seem so sad. So it really like, is. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. It's just a, a, a bad copy. But in this case, it cuts the sweetness of the peanut butter just enough. Well, and that's the weird thing, because white chocolate is usually pretty sweet. Right. Well, that, te- that tells you everything you need to know about the peanut butter. This is a good, I'll say combative, <laughs> of the peanut butter, mm-hmm. using Danny's fight uh, metaphor there. Uh, it, they go well together. It's different from chocolate, because we all know white chocolate is not chocolate, but it it works with the peanut butter that they have in there. Yeah, I was... This was the biggest surprise to me. So, shall we play our game? FMK! Frolic, marry, or kill? And so we... For the three non-regular... Yeah, we had a, we had a big discussion of which one do we eliminate yeah. from this. We'll leave the regular one out, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. what we decided. We're going to leave the regular one out. Because you already probably made up your mind and you're probably already... Because that was all our, our high school sweetheart, that things just didn't work out for whatever reason, so yeah. we moved on. <laughs> exactly. Like, we all know what the regular yeah, is. We're on good terms, we're friends on well, Facebook, still, you know, yeah, like we, we send Christmas cards or whatever. We're co- if we see each other in public, we're polite. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can go here. Sure. Because it was easy for me, I am going to uh, turn out the lights on the dark chocolate. Does that mean you're killing it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it just, it, it, by far, by far the worst of the lot here. Now, I mean, I'll eat it if you give it to me. But <laughs> for this, if, if I'm going to choose, then that's going to be the last one I'm going to choose out of these three. So that one has to die. Bye-bye, dark chocolate Reese's. Uh, I would marry the white chocolate. Uh, you know, it's one of those that really surprises you, you know, you, you, you meet and you're like, I'm not sure how I feel. It's not love at first sight, but then you get to know it and you're like, yeah, we're compatible. We're, yeah, we're good together. We're really good. Uh, and then the Reese's Pieces I'm going to frolic with because you, you just want that little extra texture sometimes. <laughs> a little something on the side to, to throw things off. I've been, uh, sampling them as, as we've been doing this. And Amy gave me the it's your turn look. Well, you don't have to go next. <laughs> I'll go, go next. Okay. Um, I am going to kill the pieces. Ooh. You know, sometimes I like to frolic with the weird ones, but because that can be fun. But you know what? Crazy never ends well. And given my options, you know. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna frolic with with the dark one. That's the the dark chocolate is also a little bit weird, but at least it stands out and it's it's different. I was like, oh, it, it is. Gives, I'll give you that. It gives me like a little bit of like a little sharpness there that I was like, ah, yeah, it's a little different. That's fun occasionally, and it's not already annoying me like the pieces are. So, like, I can put up with it until I'm done. Yeah, you might regret the next day, but hey, you know, you had fun at the time. The pieces I'm, like, actively hating while I'm in the process. (laughs) And that's going to end in, like, like, it's almost screaming choke me, and then I'm, like, it's dead. So, it's just going to be murdered before all of that. And so then I'm also going to marry the white chocolate. All right. Yeah, before tasting, I would have had these all different. I would have thought I would have married the dark frolicked with the pieces and killed the white. Because mm-hmm. I've had good dark chocolate peanut butter cups before. I was ready to propose to the dark. Yeah. And uh, no. I'm going to frolic with the dark, though, because I liked it better than the pieces, which I'm killing. The, the pieces just way too too sugary. Choke me. That, and this is coming from a sugar fiend. so I had that. And we're I'm marrying the white just like everybody else. You and I are agreeing on this. We are. I don't know that I like that. You two have, I think that's the third time in a row you've agreed when we've Brian, played this you might game. be losing soulmate status. <laughs> Let's not go you crazy. You still ate a salad. I was about to say, my, <laughs> Amy, you had a steak salad. You're so. But I didn't like the salad. <laughs> we almost had to put an E on this. I just had to bite my tongue. Okay? <laughs> I didn't like the salad portion. It doesn't you matter. You ordered the salad at a steak the, restaurant. The, the steak with a whole steak. The fact that even for a moment it crossed your mind that I should, you should make steak and salad. Like in FMK of this podcast, that would get you killed. 
I would marry myself in front of Brian. Amy, <laughs> <laughs> hey, help. This got <clears throat> weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to FMK you guys and me. Uh, not out loud, at least. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose that's a wrap because I don't know where else to no, go from. No, oh, no, it's a, not. Hey, the other part of the. the we have, we have more treats. Wait, we have a quick write in vote for an FMK uh, from uh, front of the podcast play. I posted a picture of the Reese saying we're having a good morning at the Food Scientist podcast, and he uh, is going to marry the dark chocolate, kill the white, and frolic with the milk. Did he actually try them all? He, so, he sounds knowledgeable. Now, he might just be basing this on, you know, what he thinks he knows about the candies. But you have to try them. Yeah. yeah. Although, shout out for recognizing that that's FMK fodder. Yeah, good job, Clay. Um, okay, so, yes, good job, Clay. Moving on. We're not wrapping up yet. We have more After Christmas special sale treats here from... <laughs> and this one is weird. This is weird. It is weird for and a few reasons. Tell us if we're wrong about this one, folks. This is the Cracker Jack Holiday Sugar Cookie Popcorn. Danny, when did you find these? I found these, like, right around Christmas. Right? I found these this past week. Yeah. Like, it would be Christmas did Day, not see Christmas them. week. Yeah, I did, did not, not see them before that anywhere. So, yeah. folks, did you see these around? Because we didn't. And for some reason, we saw these holiday snacks pop up after, after Christmas. Christmas. Both of us, after Christmas. Somebody was hiding them in the back. They might have been. Or maybe there was well, a I, shipment delays across the Who knows? I think I actually bought these in South Dakota, like, when in my travels. But even when I came back here. Yeah, I saw them downtown Minneapolis just um, this past week. I, I did not see them. I was not out of the house. I was either in Michigan flying or sick. Yeah, but still, I mean, you didn't see them leading before up to the that. Holidays. No, yeah, before, right. before yeah. I yeah. no. So these are a late entrant into the holiday game, which means you can get them on sale. You yeah, I'm guessing you can probably find them in a lot of places. I'm gonna say they're a fine cookies. sweet popcorn. I don't know that they taste like sugar cookies. They have a remnant of sugar cookie flavor. They didn't do a lot for me though. I'm gonna go straight to my grievance. Oh, go for it. When you think of Cracker Jacks, what do you think of? A box. Caramel corn and a prize. And? Nuts. The nuts. That would not go with these at all, though. But how do you have Cracker Jacks with no nuts? I think they make Cracker Jacks with I no think nuts. you could have nuts in these. It would be fine. I I love the nuts. And I miss them. Even like, with the drastic change in flavor? Don't care. <laughs> So it doesn't matter what flavor, if it's Cracker Jack you want. Sugar and nuts go together. They can be all kinds of nuts and sugar coated. Yeah, you can can, candy candy coated nuts. I want the nuts and these. But because these are cookie flavored, but they're not. And they have sprinkles. I mean, their branding is sugar cookie flavored. They put nuts in cookies. They are Cracker Jacks. They should have nuts. Like that's. I'm fine with the bag instead of the box. I'm fine with the prize just being a sticker that you point their app at. I'm fine with all of the compromises. <laughs> Can we just back up on that? The prize inside is just a sticker that says, download our app, which, whatever. Maybe you'll get coupons, Brian, or coupons. I will say this. Can I, uh, can I tell my favorite Cracker Jack story? Go for it. There was a, uh, I was at the old Yankee Stadium, and you, know, you have the vendors who walk around you know, beer, get your beer. Mm-hmm. Ice a, cold. Ice cold beer, right? And there was one, and he was just going, quack jack like that. <laughs> quack jack And I just, like, instinctively now, have, ever since I've referred to them as quack jack You know what, though? That guy stood out. He stood out. And he got everyone's attention. Right. So quack jack Good for yeah. him. So these, these are a Horeo. Yes, they are. Yeah. And what I thought was really interesting, like kind. I was really staring at the packaging before just to see, because you look at them, and they have little sprinkles on them. They look just like a birthday cake flavored item. And I don't know if Cracker Jack has ever done birthday cake flavored popcorn or not, but it looks like they just reuse the same mold well, this or is whatever. red and green sprinkles, Brian, though. Yes, but it's birthday cake. Yeah. It's bir- Birth- if they birthday had- cake would be like pink and blue. No, but it's the same recipe. If yeah. they call this birthday cake instead of sugar cookie, you wouldn't be like, 
this ain't birthday cake, this is a sugar cookie. Right, no, not the same recipe, but, like, the same, like, process of making mm-hmm. it, just a different flavor. I think you can even use the same recipe. If I hand you this and say, this is a birthday cake... I would. Right. So I you, would. I just ate one. I'm like, yeah, that's birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> There's some on my plate. I'm it's good. better at thinking it's birthday cake. Than yeah. I'm just saying the sprinkles had the wrong color for birthday cake. So it's birthday cake quackajack. Ignore the packaging. It's a except- tasty, tasty sugary popcorn. Don't expect it to be cookie. Yeah, if you get these like 70, 80, 90% off, grab them. They're worth a try. Tell but you're not going to win a lot. Tell people their birthday cake. Yeah. They won't even know. Bring them to your New Year's Eve party. Say it's it's the birth of the new year. Happy birthday, 2019. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. And on that note. Yes. Now it's a wrap. <laughs> you really didn't want to talk about those, did you? I guess not. <laughs> that was, but you had to finish off the Venn diagram. I did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> and Danny got so intellectual talking about Venn diagrams. I am nothing if not an intellectual, Amy. So thanks for listening, everybody. Listening all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we love having you. Yep. Be safe as you're celebrating New Year's this week. Smell you later. Bye, everyone. Have Bye-bye. a great week. I'm no longer nice. <laughs> you can't out-nice me.